and welcome to a very abrupt let's play for a lesser known game by the name of Portal. I know I'd never heard of it either. Apparently, quite a following, so I thought, why the hell not? So yeah, here we are once again. Inside our little shower room slash cubicle slash toilet room apparently, which doesn't seem very hygienic. Hello and again, welcome Hi. to the Average for Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your oh yes, it's been absolutely delightful. And we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before oh good. Start, however, Wait, what test? I already said there'd be a test. I haven't revised. You're running on Windows, aren't you, love? I can tell. Hmm, nah. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Who's that sexy beast over there? I should get her number. He seems part cyborg. Oh well. That's supposed to be me, isn't it? Aha, I see. Yes. Most intriguing. I'm actually playing as a female video game character. Don't see very many of them about, really, do you? Delightful. I gotta say, this holiday camp doesn't seem very uh, festive so far. Oh, you're giving me a cube. Well, this completely changes my opinion. Let the good times roll. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, oh, that's reassuring. the aperture science weighted storage cube. You mean like I can't carry a sandwich through from the cafeteria or anything? They're very extreme with these, you must buy from us for rules these days, aren't they? The big red thing on the floor, you mean? Superb. Oh, more cubes. My life is complete. Hmm. Well, seems a bit inconvenient. Doesn't matter what form of public transport they invent, you all seem to end up waiting, don't you? There's the button. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. You're a sarcastic little computer, aren't you? I like it. Freedom! If someone could just direct me to the pool, I'd be uh, quite happy to spend the rest of this little exertion. Quietly tanning, if I'd answer you. That's a lie, I don't really tan. No, seriously, I reflect, it's bizarre. I've heard people come up to me before and start doing their hair in reflection from my eyes. Eh? Stop that. You're doing very well. Please be Don't patronize me. That's good to know. Right, onward and downward. Portal. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, a tiny viewing window. Let's look through it, shall we? What's that over there? Oh, crap. Okay, nothing happened. What a lifetime video games has taught me. Do not stand in front of large glowy things in video games. It never ends well. Nope. Oh. Okay, there we go. Right. Come here, you. I can't get out to here. You're mine, Sonny Jim. Ta-da! Thank you. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With so I am. You can create your own portals. These yeah, I kind of figured that out already, love. Have proven to be completely safe. 
The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. <laughs> Test chamber number three. Burning through these. I'll have all 19 done in no time. Whee! Awesome. Oh, I can't do that again, can I? No, in this room at least. Oh. Well. Do it the boring way, I suppose. So, yeah. Some of you might be noticing that the in game audio seems remarkably crisp and clear and intelligible for a change. The reason for this is I installed a little plugin called Soundflower onto my uh, QuickTime program, which means with a bit of higgery pokery and changing some settings, I can now record system audio, which is, you know, nice. So this rather short and Unserious Let's Play is basically going to be the first game I record that actually has proper audio. <laughs> Which is, you know, ironic, I suppose, in some respects. Excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Awesome. Time for a party. Now Mumsy's not watching us. I am slightly concerned, actually, talking about audio, as to how well my voice audio is going to capture for this. It's all very well and good to have nice, more or less perfect in-game audio, and then have, you know, my voice sound like a tinny bag of shite. Ah. I win again. Right, next one. In fact, no. No, we're not going to do that. going to make the work a bit easier for ourselves by doing this. Awesome. Come on, challenge me! As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two... Ah, yeah. uh, I like that. I'm gonna use that myself from now on. Why did you lie? I didn't. I just enhanced the truth a little. Uh -huh. You may notice some slight jumps and such. That's because I'm cutting out the, uh, the loading screens. Is one of many That's interesting, goals. isn't it? Large glowy ball of death. Which seems to want to go into this. May Kim. Oh, yeah, so not just female, I'm Asian as well. Awesome. Very forward thinking of you, Val. I'm impressed. I think I shouldn't really be surprised, should I? I love interest in Half Life, was a half cast lady. Very gorgeous one at that, so makes sense, I suppose. Oh, puzzle solved. Did I cut you off there? I'm so sorry. Be sure that breaks some sort of union rule, you know, in stationary scaffolding. Right. It's screwing with my perspective. Nah. I win again. To freedom! Or at least the rec room, seriously. I say the Pontins customer satisfaction program has gotten far out of hand. Please 
Another test chamber. Number eight. Number eight. <gasps> Not an unsatisfactory mark. Can't be having that. Right, what am I doing here? Right, I'm gonna get you to there, bounce, redirect. And then to the red spot, I think. Yes? Okay, give this a shot. I'm gonna set up an infinite loop here. So I know those energy balls eventually run out of power. If, every time they hit something, anyway. Right, that should do it. Now, red spot, red spot. Go! What? What? Alright, physical engine, that's right. If it doesn't enter the portal perfectly, it eventually cocks up, doesn't it? Yes. Wait, that's not right. It's not right at all. Bugger. You see, boys and girls, this was a demonstration of how not to do it. Ah, say bye! Yes. Right, let's try that again. Okay, this time I'm going to let it reflect off the far wall. And... Genius! <laughs> right, onward and outward. Yeah. That and then in front of the ceiling. Okay, I got this. I got this! Ceiling. Ah! <laughs> Did you see that? No idea I landed on the platform, I landed right on the edge. Like a pro. <laughs> I win this time. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yeah. They say that about a lot of things. I tend not to believe them. Right, chamber number nine is this? The enrichment center yeah, no. regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Oh well, guess we have to go home then. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Push the button on the me again. Other such words, I guess. Okay, cube up there, so presumably I need to get up there. Apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Lies, lies and slander. Crap. Okay. Okay, that doesn't Aha! Aha, see. There's always a solution. Once again, the enrichment sent fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Me an atmosphere of lies. Filthy lies. Oh, there you go. No, no! A chest high wall? I'm a video game character, I can't tackle a chest high wall. No. But wait, there's a solution. Wait! Ah. You can't stop me. Hmm, much larger jump. Ah, I see this. I got this. I got this. Freedom! Nah. I win this you one, physics. Yes, yes, yes. Newton's conservation of motion, I get it. An object in motion. Third law, shall I say, isn't it? An object in motion will remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. Yeah, I get it. Whee! Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yeah, what she said. 
and again. Ready? 